Hi, this is Caleb Ouellette at Fraser Rare V in Abbotsford, BC, Canada with a walkthrough video for you on our ALP Adventure 19RD Class C motorhome. Um, this is a highly requested video. A lot of people are, uh, are very interested, particularly recently, in uh, looking at these units, um, being that, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they've become very popular for a number of reasons. Um, one of them being the fact that it's a 19 foot classy motorhome. There's nothing else out there quite like it this small, um, just eat for ease of maneuverability, driving, uh, backing up, parking it, etc. Um, and then also just for a couple obvious reasons, the, the layout, the design, the fact that it's, you know, four season insulated. Um, it's just, yeah, it's become very, very successful, popular uh, unit in our local market here. And now even uh, down south of the border in, into the States as well, a lot of people are, are interested in uh, having a closer look at this unit. And so uh, for that reason, I wanted to do this video, um, do a nice little walk around the outside, and then we'll check out the inside after. And I'll just point out a couple things um, about them and just talk a little bit about them to give you some some good information just to give you a good idea as to uh, what they are how they're built etc so um, yeah we'll do a little walk around the outside I'll point out a few things um, I guess first of all you know Adventure that's our brand here at Fraser Rare V um, we've been manufacturing these units since uh, 1969 so uh, many many years um, it's a family privately owned family business here at Fraser Way that's been passed down a couple generations. Uh, it's a local family. Um, and so, yeah, f uh, family values are really, really, uh, really important to us here at Fraser Way. And, uh, and we, yeah, our, our number one mission is ultimately um, helping our customers realize their vacation dreams. And so adventure, you know, that's, that's the heart behind everything that, uh, that we are and everything that we do. And uh, they've come a long ways here, these Adventure Class C motorhomes, since uh, they first started building them. Um, we've worked very, very hard to just create, you know, uh, a high quality product, well built, um, well suited for, you know, what our customers are, are looking for. And so, um, you know, they're previously manufactured here locally in Abbotsford. Our factory now is uh, located in Yakima, Washington. Um, and yeah, they've, they've really come a long way. And, uh, and so, um, yeah, definitely a, a, a high quality product that people are, are very, very happy with. Our customers are very, very happy with. And so um, a couple of things that I'll point out, you know, it's like I said, it's four season insulated. Um, you got a, a backup camera there. You've got a hundred watt solar panel on the roof. Um, and as I mentioned, this is a 19 foot Class C motorhome. So there's nothing else on the market quite like it. Um, people really, really like the the ease of maneuverability, being able to drive it and back it up, uh, park it, um, you know, while still having the same comforts and luxuries that you have in your classy motorhomes with a little bit, you know, a little bit more width and the overhead bunk. Um, and and so, yeah, it's, it's a really, really cool option for someone who's looking for a smaller unit that's easier to, to drive. Um, I'll just give you a little walk through this particular unit. So this unit is a 2021, it's a used X rental as all of them uh, are always um, previously rental units. Um, so year model and uh, mileage will, will vary from unit to unit. Um, what we have available will also vary. There is a, a limited number of, of units in our inventory right now um, and they sell very quickly. So uh, this one currently, like I said, it's a 2021 on a 2019 chassis. Um, this one has 26,000 something kilometers. So very low mileage, uh, that's Canadian kilometers. And uh, the sale price is 90, so 90623 Canadian. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, what we have available, different options, different units with different year models and different mileage, different condition, that will all affect the price. Some have a lower price, some have a higher price um, based on those things. So um, if you're interested, I will leave my information in the video towards the end. Um, and please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll be happy to share with you kind of what we have available and what kind of mileage, condition, etc. We do have a couple brand new units actually, which is a new thing for us. Um, they'd be the first brand new units that we've ever sold, just because everything historically was always uh, previously built for a rental fleet, and then we would sell them as used um, with a bit of mileage on them for a lower price. So we've got options um, depending on what you're looking for. 
and but yeah i'll leave my info in the video later on um point out a couple things of course these are built on the ford econoline chassis uh e350 um so this year this particular year model chassis um it's running the 6.2 liter v8 um and of course being a you know a much smaller much lighter unit um it's going to be you know perhaps a little bit better on the fuel economy um than your typical class c motorhomes that being said um you know fuel economy is going to be greatly uh impacted by you know what kind of weight you have in the vehicle what your driving conditions look like um what your driving habits are like so you know there's not there's never going to be a kind of a one a one size fits all for fuel economy on class c motorhomes but uh, that being said you know being smaller and lighter you know it, it uh, definitely will be a little bit better um than other larger class c units so couple things here you've got an outdoor shower um, sewer outlet connection down there 30 amp power service connection um, back of the fridge six gallon hot water tank so your uh, your your house batteries and a little uh, storage compartment right here so you got your your power cord a couple manual cranks in there as you can see uh, you've got insulated uh, frameless windows city water connection fuel tank there spare tire and this is your uh, sewer hose su sorry sewer hose storage and uh and yeah as you can see you've got a nice awning there that will come out to about right there give you some some good uh shelter in your campsite you already had a look at the storage compartments in there uh, a couple outlets on the exterior wall and your propane as well. So I do have a um, much more detailed manufacturer spec sheet that I can send you as well. So if you're looking for more uh, detailed information as far as you know, um, propane capacity, water tank capacity, uh, other things like that, then I'll be happy to provide that uh, as well. So that's a little look around the outside. We'll have a look inside now, but, uh, but yeah, so as I mentioned, 19rd adventure four season insulated so they are built for colder colder weather colder temperatures um so a couple things here your control uh, panel immediately to the left here you've got a couple light switches water pump water heater your battery levels your water tank levels um you've got your awning switches fire extinguisher and uh your battery your house battery disconnect switch so that will uh cut off everything to and from the, the house batteries and so yeah we'll take a look at the uh, the layout here on the inside so as you can see uh, the rear dinette layout is very very nice um, you've got the the big three windows in the back let in lots of natural light you know you can back up your unit right to your your view or your campsite your lake or wherever you're at um, and it's just a really really nice layout so um, also very, very practical, very functional. You've got the kitchenette here to the left, your uh, dual stainless steel sink with your two sink covers, um, little window there above the, above the sink, pull down faucet there, um, storage above and below. Four drawers here as well. Sorry, three drawers, and your uh, your oven, three burner cooktop, microwave, and then a bit more storage there. And uh, in the back here, as you can uh, probably guess, this will convert into a bed. So, very uh, simple, easy um, way of uh, setting that up. So you've got a couple level, lever levers there that you can tighten and loosen, and then you can slide that in and out. This table will insert into here, and then you'll use those uh, cushions as as a filler so that you've got a nice little mattress there. I've got measurements for the bed size as well. If you're looking for that, I can send that over. Um, of course, all the windows are gonna have pull down uh, blackout blinds. Some good storage on both sides above the dinette as well. A couple speakers there. Nice little uh, vent. It's 
So the vent will open up and then these uh, two windows on either side will open up to allow for some good airflow. Um, got a fuse panel down here, a couple, uh, couple things here. So your solar charge controller there. Uh, this is your thermostat for your AC and your heat, your furnace. Uh, light switch and a couple USB ports in there. Um, two outlets there. And then uh, moving along here, you've got your two-way um, RV fridge, so uh, electric and propane. So I'll run off of the propane or it will run off of your uh, your battery. And uh, there's your, your furnace. Uh, this is just kind of a mechanical access panel. And then you've got some... Uh, some really good storage here as well. Some hanging storage, a little closet or pantry, if you will. And three more drawers. So yeah, the, the space in here being a smaller unit, the space is very well used. Um, every square foot has a, serves a purpose and uh, very functional, very practical layout. And so, uh, Here's your bathroom. So you've got a one piece fiberglass wet bathroom, uh, no seams at all in here. So, um, you know, very, very, uh, very, very efficient. No seams, no leaks. Um, porcelain toilet there. A little bit of storage behind the, uh, the mirror. A little bit of a fresh air inlet right there. Your light. And a nice little domed uh, ceiling here so that you can stand up in here. I'm six feet tall and I still have a couple inches of uh, wiggle room in there. So if you're, uh, if you're, I would say if you're taller than six, three, six, four, then, uh, you know, you might be a little bit tight in here. But uh, if you're six, three, six, four, then, and you've ever camped in an RV, then you know that that's usually the case anyway. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that's a little look at the back of the unit. We have the overhead bunk here with two windows on either side. Both of them will open up and then you've got an electric fan above. So again, really good airflow. Let's in some nice little natural light. Um, of course, this will fold over so that you can access your, your cab nice and easy. And there's some netted storage there on the front wall. Again, the windows have blackout blinds as do all of the, the fans or the vents. You also have some uh, privacy blinds that you can pull across there as well. Little ladder, which will latch in here. And uh, front of the, the cab, really clean in great shape. Again, it's a 2019 um, chassis. So depending on the year model of the chassis, you know, might, might look slightly different, but for the most part, they're all very, very similar with the Ford Econoline chassis. Um, I think the brand new 2023 chassis are uh, running the 7.3 liter V8, so a little bit different. That's a recent change, but everything else previously um, in in uh, in recent year models has been, the, like I said, the 6.2 V8. And uh, like I said, this particular unit has, as you can see there, 26,489.6 kilometers. So um, very low mileage. Um, and as such, it's a very, very clean unit. Um, you know, there's no significant wear, uh, wear and tear or damage, so to speak, um, as most of our X rentals are in, in uh, gonna, gonna be in fairly good shape. You know, some of them might have a little bit more wear or cosmetic little, uh, you know, blemishes or scratches or whatever, um, which is normal, but uh, obviously the ones with lower mileage are typically gonna be a bit cleaner. Um, and of course, everything that we sell that's used or ex-rental or whatever the case may be, uh, we put them through a very thorough uh, inspection process. So we inspect the, the coach and we inspect the chassis. Um, any work that needs to be done, we will do so that the unit is brought up to 100% fully working condition uh, with no problems or issues for you. So you have that to guarantee you that peace of mind. It's been through our PDI inspection. Um, if it needed new tires, we put new tires on it. Um, whatever it needs, we'll, we'll do to make sure that it's brought up to 100% fully working condition. Of course, being a used unit, if there are any little cosmetic blemishes or little scratches or whatever the case may be, you know, it's used. Um, we don't we don't pay for the fixing of cosmetic um, items. That being said, if there's something that you want looked at, we can we can get an estimate on what it would cost to fix. Um, but like I said, you know, the lower the mileage, typically the cleaner the unit. 
and uh, as you guys can see in this video it's very very clean it's very well kept um you know previous owner was us at Fraserway, and so we take good care of all of our all of our units and so yeah that's uh a brief little uh, walk around video of our Adventure 19RD. Um, like I said, I'll leave my info in the video here, uh, email address and phone number. So my direct number is 236-380-2407. That's 236-380-2407. You can text or call or email me anytime and I would be happy to provide you with any further information. Like I said, um, these units do sell very quickly. They've become very popular particularly recently, um, and uh, they, they sell very quickly. So if you're interested, please reach out, and I'll be happy to help however I can.